to Sariharikota, where the 36th satellite had then been placed in 601 kilometer circular orbit, while for the present mission, the intended orbit is 450 kilometers circular. Correspondingly, the relative velocity requirement at the time of injection is higher compared to the previous mission. The present mission, LVM3 M3 OneWeb India 2, is the 18th launch mission for OneWeb. वर्तमान में तृतीय रियो स्टेज परफॉर्मेंस नॉर्मल और अंतिम चरण प्रज्वलित है और सामान्य प्रदर्शन कर रहा है अब हम उड़ान से 760 सेकंड आगे आ चुके हैं वर्तमान में यान की ऊंचाई 465 किलोमीटर तथा सापेक्ष गति 5.7 किलोमीटर प्रति सेकंड है प्लस 13 मिनट्स OneWeb is a global communication network powered from space, enabling connectivity for governments, businesses and communities. OneWeb Gen 1 satellite constellation comprises of 648 individual satellites which are placed in low earth orbit. India's Bharati Enterprises serves as a major investor and shareholder in OneWeb. As we told, this is OneWeb's 18th launch, its third this year. My colleague Pramod is now joining me live on the story. Pramod, this is the heaviest rocket of ISRO so far. The booster propellers at the moment are working fine. It absolutely is, Aishwarya. It's a close to 643 tons and the, the payload itself was around 5,805 kilograms. And imagine in just a span of 15 minutes or so, the rocket has gone all the way up to 450 kilometers. All the parameters for now is normal. That's what we've, been, we've got it. The first one was the booster rocket S-200 and then we had the liquid stage L-110 and the last one, the cryogenic agent, which is also performing normally. All information has been given and this is also a massive success. In fact, this is the background where you saw the actual rocket. There was a trail of smoke over here. This entire building rumbled as it was soared up high. And ISRO has proven once again its might and superiority when bringing out such a launch in, in just simple a manner. That's the best thing about ISRO. They have achieved something and still they have done it in a very, very uh, like uh, a way that we have to appreciate. Right, Pramod. Uh, you know, also over the past many years, we have been seeing how a lot of emphasis has been put to make sure India has India reaches the place globally. And now we are seeing India competing with not just the United States, but with other uh, big countries also. And this launch of the LVM3, which will make sure that uh, there are. Uh, which will make sure that India is put on the map and also other countries start looking at India. So all these launches that we have seen over the past many years are testimony to the fact India has really arrived. It absolutely is, Ashwarya. In fact, India is already on the map because this cryogenic agent that we are using, that C25, only a handful of nations are able to actually produce it and that we have over here. And not just that, going to space is one thing, but you need a proper launch vehicle. We have NASA, we have uh, like SpaceX and everything, but ISRO is something that is doing it in a much cheaper, with the same quality, and that's the reason various other people, uh, like uh, uh, nations, are sending the satellites through ISRO, and they have proved it once again. We have so many launch vehicle platforms for each and every kilo, starting with SLV, then we have PSLV, and now the PSLV was earlier also was known as the work of force of ISRO, but currently GSLV, this is the sixth flight, and it has so far been a success. So this is, it has also proven that GSLV Mark III is turning out to be another successor, becoming the next heavyweight workhorse of ISRO because the payload here is close to six ton, and this will actually pave way for manned missions for Mangal. Yan, Gaganyan, and everything carrying huge satellites, Aishwarya. Right, Pramod. So, for our viewers, let me tell you what has happened today. The ISRO has launched Plus the LVM3, which will now put 
36 satellites in orbit and all this took place at the Satish Dhawan Space Center in Sri Harikota in Andhra Pradesh today. Uh, so Pramod, uh, at the moment, uh, do you believe, uh, you know, the scientists are cheering, the people we can see on our screens, a lot of people are sitting there witnessing what is taking place. All this definitely will give boost to ISRO and we will see more such launches taking place in years to come. On one side, ISRO is actually proving its power, uh, might and power with each and every launch because these are launches where you, you have to have zero error. And this is uh, something that you have, there is nothing allowed to probability and everything should be perfect. And ISRO has once again proven that it is perfect. So the uh, international players are getting a launch vehicle with absolute perfection and not just that. This is a kind of like enthusiasm for a lot of people, youth as such, because anybody who is interested in space travel, that is something uh, recently been talked about and anybody who is interested in space and everything, ISRO is becoming an idol because ISRO is showing that you can simply prove it. All you have to do is dream and imagine and work hard and that's what ISRO has been standing as a testimony and that's why those people over there are cheering up. Those are the scientists and analysts and mathematicians who have been working relentlessly for several nights to make sure not even one mistake occurs. There should not be even a one miscalculation and that's the reason such a brilliant launch. Imagine Imagine, Aishwarya, to escape the gravity of Earth, you need to travel at a speed of 11.2 kilometers per second, and that's what we witnessed behind here. That massive giant, weighing almost 643 tons, just within a couple of seconds, was above the Earth's atmosphere, and 15 minutes or so, it has traveled almost 450 kilometers low Earth orbit. This itself is a massive achievement, ISRO, which is doing it very quietly and calmly. 150 kgs, and the cumulative... Well, Ramos, you know, from where you are standing tell our viewers exactly how far the launch space was from where you are standing and what did you feel when that rocket actually you know just lifted off because we can see the kind of power as you were also speaking about that is needed to uh, you know launch such a vehicle what did you feel and what exactly happened to the building where you are standing Plus 19 minutes Ashwari, we're standing in a location called as Media Center and there are actually two arrows on these walls that you see over here. This one is mentioned as FLP, which means first launch platform and the second one is SLP. That is a second launch platform. That's been what we've been told as. And generally, that is a second launch platform over this area only the actual launch for heavy rockets from Israel. That is a GSLV occurs and not just that. We've been told that the place is almost eight kilometers away from this location, all for the purpose to keep the people in this area safe. That's why it's been decided and kept over there and not just that this entire building I should say there's, there's like it's a pretty strong building but when the rocket rose up this place actually rumbled and you know light actually travels faster than uh, sound so what we first saw was just the actual flames coming out of the rocket the actual boost and thrust and then the smoke and close to after four to five seconds only we exactly heard that noise that rumble it was absolutely brilliant and it actually shakes you when you hear it for the first time but it is something a kind of of experience anyone who actually uh, if, if person is present over here they would definitely enjoy because what we saw was a scientific marvel performed by ISRO something like they're doing in a day-to-day -day life that's the that's the reason ISRO is being appreciated because everybody know what ISRO is doing and how quietly and calmly they're doing it thank you Pramod for joining me with all those details my colleague giving us all the details from very close to where the launch of this rocket took place यह सभी के लिए बहुत ही हर्ष का पल यह मिशन अपनी सफलता की ओर